Well, look out! He's the rootinest, tootinest cowboy in this side of Japan! Yes, that's a thing. Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Nin Ninja DX Bison King. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. And we got quite a big box here. Here we have Bison King, the Bison Bugger, DX, the Bison King. I'm assuming that's what that says anyway. On the top of the box, you get a picture there of Star Ninja. The Ottoman and Shuriken. On this side of the box, you get stuff and things. On the other side of the box, you get things and stuff. On the bottom of the box, you get Bison King and again the Bison Buggy. On the back of the box, you get your obligatory product shots, does this, that, the other, all that good stuff. And of course, you get South Park Man and Lost Contact Lens Man. And that's basically it for. The packaging. So moving right along, here we have Bison King. Now this is the Otomanian. This is the mecha of uh, Star Ninja, his Zord, if you will. So this is what he uses when it comes time to fight the monsters. First, we'll take a look at Rodio Maru. This is the Otomanian proper here. So here is Rodeo Maru, and you can see it definitely takes after Star Ninja's uh, motif here. You got the star there in the head sculpt. Nice silver paint, nice gold paint also. Very nice metallic red there on the visor. And you got some more gold paint apps here. You have the Nin Ninja logo sculpted in, and some little gold details. Lots of sculpted details, not a lot of it is painted in, but. Still nicely, nicely done. Um, Articulation-wise, his arms can rotate only that much. Um, you do get movement at the hips. You do get full range of movement at the knees. Of course, the legs are uh, locked together, so they will only ever move in tandem. You can't move them individually. Um, his head does have articulation. He has a joint right here at the top of the neck and a joint at the base of the neck. So he does have a little head articulation. That's pretty much it. Now for comparison, here he is with Shinobi Maru. And you can see they're basically uh, the same height. I think Shinobi Maru is probably like a hair taller. But pretty much the same height. He can sit in uh, Shurikenjin's cockpit if you want. That's an option. But that's not really what this is for. This is meant for this big hulking vehicle right here. This is the Bison Buggy, and uh, it is very cool. It is a very, very large piece, as you can see here. I mean, this this thing is nothing, nothing short of impressive. Very, very cool. Getting close here, you can see the big bull head right there up front with the Nin Ninja logo, molded ends, nice gold paints, nice, nice details all around. Got some of that Bandai silver here for the ring. And you get some more gold details. A little bit of that gunmetal gray right there. And again, lots of nice molded details. You get some stars going on here. Very cool. Very nicely done. All the wheels do roll, and only the outside part of the wheels roll. But it rolls very, very nicely. It rolls very nice and smoothly. And of course here you have the gun which doubles as an exhaust pipe, I guess. And very, very cool. Now it does come with the Otomanin Shuriken, which does store right back here in the back of the Bison Buggy. Pull it out, so it just clips in right back here. So here you have your Otomanin Shuriken. And uh, very cool, again you see the helmet right there. Done in very nice gold and silver and red paint. Of course, the blade is removable. You just pull that little release button right there. You can twist it, pull it off. Again, there with the Otoman in Shurikens, there are no uh, activation noises or disengaging noises. It just locks into place. And that's pretty much it. You have the button on the back, and of course you have Side Pac Man! Just molded there forever in shame. But you push the button on the back, and you'll get... 
Tomonin Shuriken. Now, just like Star Ninja's uh, Shuriken, all the noises are within the Shuriken itself. You really don't need to plug it into anything to get the extra noises. But, really, to do this properly, you got to bring in the Ninja Star Burger. So, let us summon our Otomonin, shall we? Let's, let's plug it into the burger. And to start the sequence, you just want to push the red button right there. So, here we go. I'm sorry. Now, spinning it does nothing, unfortunately. To finish the sequence, you just have to push the red button again. So, here we go. I love that. I really do. I love it so much. <laughs> I love that. But anyway, there you go. There you have the noises. That's the Otoman and Shuriken makes in the Ninja Star Burger. So there you have it. You can plug this in the Ninja Ichibanzo, but it's really meant for the Ninja Star Burger since it is his Otoman in. So there we go. We have that. So again, it just plugs in right back here for storage. Now, of course, Rodeo Maru can ride the bison buggy, and to do that, you just want to raise his arms up right here. You just want to give his legs, like, basically, like, one click down and one click at the knees here. And you want to use those joints in his neck to raise his head up, like that. And you'll see here he has two posts under his arms, and there are two clips right here. So just take them and... Get everything lined up here, plug him on, like that, and you'll see he'll hold on to the handlebars there, and you just get his legs situated, see what I'm doing here, <laughs> and you just kind of get his legs situated in that position, and make sure he is properly looking up over the bison head there, so there you go, there you have Rodeo Maru riding the bison buggy. Now on this show, Rodeo Maru is a lot bigger. <laughs> and so here he looks really tiny compared to the bison buggy. So uh, the, the, the scale is a little off as far as the toy goes. But again, to make the toy work, you know, some uh, compromises have to be made. But there you go. There he is riding the bison buggy. Very, very cool. So now let's get this into robot mode. And to do that, we're just going to unplug the gun here, put that off to the side, unplug our shuriken from the back, put that off to the side. We're going to take this whole top section here and unclip this. You see it clips in at three places. It clips in right back here and it clips in right up here. So we're going to take this whole section, put that off to the side. And now we just got this left over. So let me raise my camera first. Because he's going to get tall. Things are going to happen. Things are going to grow. Just the way these things work. You know how it is. Or do you? Anyway. Alright, so now we have this piece right here. You want to come down here. You want to take this section right here. Bring that out. Snap it into place. Bring this up. And this will snap in right there. Clip that in. This one up. Spread the legs first, and open that up, bring that up, snap that into place, take the arms, just bring them out that one click. Once you've done that, you're going to take this whole section right here, you'll see clip, clip, and uh, post, post. So you're just going to take this, clip it right on top, like that, bring this down flat against the chest, like that, and... We'll give him his gun here, put that in his hand. And the last thing there is to do is to take the Ultimate and Shuriken, flip down the face plates, and plug it on, and we get a new noise. So, here we go! So there we have Bison King in his robot mode. It is a pretty cool looking robot. I, I do like the design of him. Very cool. 
And again, got that Star Ninja motif there with the Star Visor. Very cool. And obviously, very uh, cowboyish as is Star Ninja. He got some tassels here and whatnot. He's got tassels on the sides here. <laughs> very cool. And you get some new details that are revealed here again with these pieces on the knees. Yeah, you do get some, some stars here that are molded. Not painted out, but they are molded there into the plastic. And uh, yeah. Very, very cool. Articulation-wise, it's your standard Sentai Megazord articulation. His arms can do a full 360, and that's pretty much it. Oh, actually, you do get some elbow movement. You get one click of inward movement, and you can bend them outward like that, which is kind of weird, but you can do it. That's more for transformation for the combined mode. Uh, nothing at the legs. Um, so, it's pretty much your standard Sentai Mecha Megazord articulation, but still... Very, very cool. I like the bull right there on the chest. I think that looks really, really cool. So, there you have that. And just for a comparison, actually, I need to get Shinobi Maru back in here. Get back in here, man. We need you. We need you for comparison. Get in there. Hold on to your controls. There you go. So, here he is with Shuri Kenjin. So you can see how they scale with each other. You can see Shurikenjin is uh, maybe a hair taller than Bison King. Not by much, just a hair taller than Bison King. So, there you have that. So, now the only thing left to do is to combine this guy with Shurikenjin. Yes, they can combine. So, to do that, we're going to rip this guy apart. What? Parts forming? Worst toy ever. It's Sentai toys. You should be used to this by now. Come on. So, we will remove the Shuriken. Flip that down. Put that off to the side for now. We're going to remove this whole top section. Oh, one thing I wanted to point out too. One thing that, that people complained the most about about this figure was this right here. <laughs> Just how far this piece sticks out the back. Now this is screen accurate. Again, um, obviously it doesn't stick out this far on the show, on the suit, but... This is screen accurate, but if this bothers you that much, or if you don't have that much shelf space to accommodate this, all you have to do is just well, bring that down, bring his legs down. There you go. Compacts it up a bit more. So, problem solved, crisis averted. So, anyway, let's move on. So, we're going to remove this whole top section here. We're going to remove the bison head and put that all off to the side. Going to take out his gun, put that off to the side. We're going to take this back piece right here, remove this. Take this whole top section here of his torso, remove that. Take the legs, split those. You want to take this connector right here and fold that in. And we'll get to this in a little bit. You want to take the arms here and rip those off. Like that. And if you thought I was joking, yes, we, we just totally ripped him apart. Total, we, just, we totally ripped them apart. <laughs> but it's necessary. It's necessary. So now we have all that done. Let's bring in Shuri Kenjin. Now to get him ready, we just need to take his sword out. So we'll put that off to the side. Remove the shield. Remove the shuriken. And put that off to the side. Remove his arms. Yeah, which are always really tight on mine. Remove his arms. And now we're ready to go. I'm already tired. Jeez, man. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the legs here. You just want to take this section here, which was the hip. Just bring that in that one click. You want to take this wheel section here, bring it all the way around like that. Bring that back down. And you'll see there is a post right here. There is a symbol right here that is pink and that tells you what side this goes on. So this goes on the pink side. And this will clip on to the bottoms of this foot right here. So that clips in right there. Gives them some feet extensions. Do the same thing here. Just make sure you bring that in. Bring that wheel all the way back. Bring that down. And this, as you can see, goes to the other leg. So we'll clip that on. Clip that in, and there we go. 
So now he's got some new booties. And that gives him some extra height. So now that we've done that, you take this piece right here and this will clip in to the top and... <laughs> ah, this is going to get really tall. So do excuse me if we get some shaky cam action, but my tripod can only go up but so high. But again, this will clip in right up top right here. So clip that on right there. So now we're going to take the arms. What you're going to do with the arms is you're going to take the forearm here, bring that back, come in here, flip out the new fist for the combined mode. You're going to take one of Shurik Engine's arms here. And there is a right and a left, obviously, so you want to make sure they match. And this will just slide into the fist right there and extend his arms and give him some boxing gloves. So once you've done that, you're going to take it and you're going to, to, you're going to attach it to the top post now. So attach that up here. And there we go. Like that. And we're going to do the same thing with the other arm here. Bring that back. Set that down. Bring in the dragon, slide that into the fist, and now that will attach up there. Now, one thing you want to do, this piece, if you remember Kyuryuji, with the bigger combinations, you had a piece that was meant to brace the hips, to brace Gabutira's hips, because a lot of those combined modes got real heavy. This is the case with this piece. This piece is meant to be used as a brace. So this will clip in right back here to the back of his butt. And you'll see it clips right over the hips. And basically this just keeps the hips stationary, keeps them from moving because once this is all put together, there's going to be a lot of weight up top. So this keeps the legs from basically collapsing and this thing just, uh, you know, falling under its own weight. So you need that piece there. So once you have that done, you're going to take this whole section up here and just plug it back on where it was. So technically we didn't need to take that off because it just ends up in the same spot, but hey. And again, if this bothers you that much, just take that, bring it down, bring it down. Compress that smart. So once we have all that done, it's even taller now. <laughs> hey, let me raise the camera a little bit more. Do excuse me, but this guy, he gets... He gets tall. He gets really, really tall. There we go. Now we got a better vantage point here. So now we will move on to the combined mode weapon. We'll do this now. You want to take the gun here, take the sword, and you will just slide this into the barrel like that. Am I doing this the right way? Yeah. There we go. Slide it in like that. And then you'll take the shield, split that in half. And you will plug the wings on to either side here. So I'll take that, plug that in, take the other side, plug it in. So now you have a big winged blade of murder, death, justice. And he can now hold, slide that into his hand. We will take the shuriken, shuriken, and we'll plug it on top here because we do need that. So there we go. Are the batteries dead on mine? I think the battery's dead on mine. Yeah, the batteries are dead. I just changed these too. What the? What, what the? Anyway. So we're going to plug that up top right there. And then we are going to take this whole plate, this whole front plate section here, flip that up, and that gives your Kenjin his new face and a new chest piece right there. We're going to take the bison head here. You're going to take this section, flip this up, and this right here will clip over the top of the shuriken right there. And he's gotten even taller. <laughs> and then you want to take the bison king shuriken right here, and this will go right up top, and we will get a new noise as the police go by. It's not my fault! It's not my fault this thing is so tall. I don't know if you heard the sirens outside. <laughs> it was the scale police. That thing's too tall, sir! Cease and desist! Sorry. Alright, so now I have to raise the camera up a little bit more. So you want to take the shuriken. You don't want to flip the faceplate down. Leave it, leave it flipped out the way it is. 
take it and it will plug in to the top right here and we will get a new noise so let's go Woo. get on oops have it right no, there we go There we go. There we have King Shuri Kenjin. And this guy is truly, truly massive. He is enormous in this combined mode. I mean, let me pull back here. Uh, you can see this guy is tall. I mean, he is tall. <laughs> I mean, just for comparison. Just for comparison, here he is with uh, Leader Class Ultra Magnus. You can see just how much taller he is than a Leader Class Transformer. I mean, he's almost double the height. So, yeah, he is just large, large, large. And if you want to get really precise about it, well, let's pull out the tape measure here. Let's see, he stands at... To the very top of his head, 16 and a half inches. So that is a lot of robots. And he's got his giant murder death sword of justice. Again, same articulation. No, you don't gain any articulation in this mode. Um, but still, very, very impressive. Let's just take a look here. He has the kind of weird new booties, which is eh. But, you know, he, he, it's nice that he gets some arm extensions, which is something they didn't do with Tokyo, which kind of, uh, you know, made some of the combined modes look not as good as they could have. So at least he does get extended arms and new fists. He gets a whole new chest piece. I, I really like the new face there. That's really cool. He just gets a big, uh, <laughs> big set of horns right there. And just looks really, really, really cool. Now, if you turn them around sideways, I mean, if you look at them from a profile standpoint, it does start to look a little weird, but it's okay. I'm, I'm not worried about what the profile looks like. This thing just looks really, really cool. Very cool combination. I dig it. I really, really dig it. And I'm really digging the show. I'm liking Nin... Um, blah, blah, blah. That's a tongue twister. I'm liking Nin Ninja so far. I, I'm really enjoying the show. It's, it's, it's quite good. I'm getting into it. So... Very cool combination. If this interests you in any way whatsoever, then by all means, pick it up. If you would like a Bison King or a Shura Kenjin or any of the Nin Ninja toys that are currently available, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so do check it out. And that is pretty much it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Nin Ninja DX Bison King. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Pull me in your washoi! Hey, Wave! What do you think of my new ride? <laughs> pretty sweet, huh? Um, you're going to ride that in the base, aren't you? Of course I am. <laughs> I already did some donuts in your quarters. You should see the mess I made. <laughs> it was awesome. <sighs> I hate it when you get new toys. I really do. Very well. Back to your quarters. I think I can get this thing to go up the wall. Ah!